Okay, how you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trigger a drum sample using Regate, the gate that comes with Reaper. So I have a multi mic drum set recorded here, and I'm not happy with the kick drum sound. What's here we have now? It sounds okay, but I think we can make it better. So I'm going to add a sample to this, either to replace it or to mix the two together to create a better sound. So the first thing I want to do is make a new track. We're going to use this track as a playback module. So we can place a virtual instrument plugin right on this track. I'm going to choose Resample Omatic 5000, a plugin that comes with Reaper, but really any playback module will work. I'm just choosing this one because if you're using Reaper, you also have it. So we'll add this plugin, and it looks like this a pretty simple virtual instrument. It's so now going to add a sample to this plugin. So I'll go to directory, and I'm going to choose a kick sample right here. This one's called Easy Kick, it comes from Easy Drummer by TuneTrack. That sounds pretty good. Now let's drag it to the plugin and just drop it right here. And now it's ready to be played. In fact, we could go to this track, set it up for MIDI and monitoring and put it in record. And now if we play a MIDI controller, we're gonna hear that sample. And the way it's set up now, any key will work from C minus one to G nine. Now, if you want to get more specific with this, you could set this up to only be triggered by certain notes, maybe C one or C two. But for now, we're going to keep it very simple. And we could also do is adjust the velocity right now. It's full up, but we could adjust it right here to respond to velocity. But for kick drum, and for a song like this, I'm going to keep it full up. So every hit is going to be just as hard. Then down here, we could choose the MIDI channel. By default, it's set to zero, which is all the channels, which is fine for now. So now we can close this plugin and go back to this track. Now we want to trigger this track from the kick. And like I said, we could do this with the Regate plugin. So let's put it on. Now there's already a few plugins on here, a compressor and an EQ. That's okay. Let's just add another one. We'll add the Regate and we'll put it first. This way it's not affected by the compressor or the EQ. So now you want to set this up to use this feature that not many people know about right down here. Send MIDI on open close. So every time the gate opens and closes, it's going to send out a MIDI note. So we'll turn this on right here, and we could choose the note and the MIDI channel. But like I said before, we're keeping it very simple. So any note will work, and so will any MIDI channel. So it really doesn't matter. So now let's set up the gate to open and close on each hit. That sounds pretty good. Now it's a little choked, but that doesn't really matter. What it sounds like isn't important. This gate is just being used to send out MIDI data. In fact, we could bypass the sound right over here. Turn the wet off and the dry full up, and now it sounds bypassed. But the gate is still working, so it's still gonna send MIDI on open close. And if you're having any trouble getting it to work perfectly, we can adjust the attack, hold, and release. But right now, it sounds pretty good. It's grabbing every hit. So let's bring this back so it sounds normal. And now let's send this to our sample playback or the virtual instrument plugin on this first track right here. 
So the way to send it is go from routing and just drag and drop it. Then this opens up as a send. Now we want to turn off the audio right here because we don't want to send the kick sound to our plugin track. We just want to send MIDI. So we'll go right here, change the audio to none, and make sure MIDI is turned on. It's set to all, which again is perfect. Any MIDI channel will work. So now it should work just like this. Let's bring the volume down on the real kick, and let's hear it. It seems to match up. Let's hear it with the rest of the drums. Now let's say we wanted to mix it back in with the live kick. Let's turn the drums off and let's slowly bring in the live kick. Without it, Now, if you want to mix them together, I really recommend freezing the virtual instrument plugin track. This way you can line up the sample with the real kick, which will avoid phasing or canceling out. So we'll click this track, go up here and choose render freeze and freeze tracks to stereo. And I know the sample is stereo, so we'll freeze it as stereo. And that's going to freeze or bounce this track. And now we can zoom in to see how they line up. We probably can move this a bit earlier to avoid phasing. And now let's hear them together. With the rest of the drums. Before and with the sample. That sounds better. So, anyway, this is how you trigger a drum sample using Regate in Reaper. And, like I said, you could use any plugin or virtual instrument plugin to do this. I just use this one because it comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. So anyway, I hope you learned something, I hope you use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.